My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This 56 Chevy has a 327. Power steering, power brakes, and a four-speed sitting on the floor in here. But my favorite part is the color. I don't know if you can tell, uh, seeing it on your screen there, but it's a pearl white with the burgundy. It's a gorgeous color combination. If you go to volocars.com, you can study a whole bunch of pictures top to bottom, read all the specs, and that's where you'll find the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this beautiful 56 Chevy. I uh, just got it from a collection. He had uh, 55, 56, and a couple of 57 Chevys. Uh, underneath is very respectable. This is not a high-end $80,000, $90,000 build. Uh, it's not been off the frame that I can tell, but underneath does look real nice. The floors look to be all clean, solid metal, uh, been painted black. The front end components don't look brand new or, or upgraded, but it looks clean. You know, the nuts and bolts and hardware are clean. They're not caked with, you know, 50, 60 years of grease. Um, so anyway, the components look decent. What is new underneath is the fuel system, the tank, the sending unit, that's all new. Uh, it's got a nice new, uh, fairly new dual exhaust system with Flowmaster mufflers. That sounds real good. You'll hear that in a little bit. When you look up at the motor, all the Chevy orange, the oil pan, the motor's real clean. Uh, starter looks uh, recent, looks real nice. It has a Muncie four-speed transmission. It has air shocks in the back. Uh, the brake hoses look new. Uh, so they've done their part in maintaining and you know, keeping it in good working order. It really seems to run well. Uh, so underneath the car is very respectable. The car is very respectable. It's just beautiful. You're going to get compliments. There's nothing to be ashamed of here. There are some flaws. Uh, down here on this valance between the grill and the bumper, the paint is chipped somehow and touched up. Uh, if you notice, it doesn't have the bird, but if you look close enough, the bird is uh, embossed right into the hood here. This must be an aftermarket hood. That's a pretty cool idea. All the chrome up here, the grill, the bars, the bezels, these lenses, the bumper guards, all of that was replaced whenever they restored the car. It's all bright, gleaming chrome. The side moldings are straight and shiny. They were replaced. Dual mirrors, one on each side, they look new. Door handles look new. It has a, the fingernail protectors behind it. Those have a little bit of pitting on both of them. All this trim is real nice. All that's real nice. Uh, so I'm putting antenna on the back. And real cool, it's got a Chevy bow tie on the antenna. New emblem. Tail lights are nice originals. They're not pitted up or anything, but they're not brilliant. Uh, this chrome is new. This emblem's new. And uh, for those of you that do not know where you put gas on a 56, there you have it. Paint's a little funny right here. There's a lead seam from the factory right here, and it just it gets funny there for uh, whatever reason. Uh, the rest of this is looking really nice. It's smooth down here. It's all, there's a little nick right there. Actually, I might even rub off. All new smoked glass, not stick on tint, but smoked glass has been replaced. Yeah, this all looks really good. The base of the wiper, the little chrome base, has some pitting on it. This all looks real slick. It has some nice 17-inch wheels. I can't read what they are, uh, but nice-looking chrome-plated wheels, front and back. The engine. It's a 327. Look at the, the old diner drive-in mural painted under the hood. The engine bay is all painted glossy. Sitting in the middle is a 327, got an aluminum intake, an Edelbrock AVS2 carburetor, the electric choke. It's got a set of headers. Uh, looks like a Mallory or an MSD ignition system. 
Uh, it's dressed up with some chrome, 327 valve covers, chrome alternator, uh, chrome fuel pump. It has a chromed or a polished aluminum water pump. Uh, the radiator looks recent, has a new shroud, has an overflow tube. Uh, it's got a stainless box for the battery. Inside the trunk has been boxed. Someone boxed it, carpeted it, put some pattern on the side. There's keys here for this compartment, I guess, if you ever wanted to really lock something up, I guess uh, you can put it in there, but you got a storage compartment there. This has all been repainted. Uh, it's got new weather strip. Doors shut beautifully. That's something I've been doing lately. If I'm on the fence, whether I should buy a car or not, I close the door and that, that said, yep, that's told me to buy a car. Uh, anyway, they shut beautifully. Interior is very nice. All the metal trim. The dash is gorgeous. It's the same burgundy and it's done to the same smooth finish. So all the metal has been repainted. Carpet on the floor has been replaced. Uh, door panels and seats have all been reupholstered. Getting back in here, it does have power steering, and that looks like it might have all just been added. The hoses are new, the brackets, the nuts, the bolts, the pulley, the steering box. The power brake system's all chrome. The master, the booster, it's all chrome. Uh, it's got the horns, an upgraded, more modern electric wiper uh, system. I opened the glove box, the liner's new. It does have a CD stereo. It's got uh, dolphin gauges, two round gauges, white face, has all the gauges in there, real nice looking. Chrome tilt column with a GT cushion grip steering wheel. The handles and cranks look nice. The headliner's been replaced. They did a real nice job. So why don't we fire it up? Seats are comfy too. Chrome tilt column, I think I just mentioned that. The heater box under the dash, the part that's hanging down is all repainted. Kick panels and vents are, are new. The trim across the dash is sparkling. Got a couple levers on the heater control, it's missing the knobs. Got a squeaky belt. Door jams are painted real nice. The high beam headlight switch looks new. Motor runs smooth and quiet. I just noticed there's a couple little blisters right here in the paint, two tiny blisters. Barely even pushed it. it has aftermarket nice looking gauges which it does it does not include a tachometer there's a speedometer then it has like the oil and temperature and that sort of thing but I don't see a tachometer go to volocars.com I just gave you my honest impression of this 56 Chevy if you have specific concerns or questions uh, there's plenty of ways on our website to get in touch with the salesman they'd be happy to help you they can also make financing, shipping, and the paperwork real easy for you. Go to volocars.com if you're interested in buying this one or another collector car we might have. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.